The burgers are on the grill at St. Michael's College School homecoming weekend, and it's OHL hockey in Toronto. The GTA rivals of Brampton Battalion in the Toronto St. Michael's Majors. They're lining up for the grub, and they're lining up to come into the game here this afternoon. Should be a dandy between the battalion and the Majors. Good afternoon, everybody. Roger Lajoie with you, and welcome. St. Michael's College School homecoming weekend. Perfect time for a junior hockey game, and the majors today take on the Brampton Battalion. Always a great matchup between these two GTA rivals. They've already met once this year at St. Mike's. Brampton eking out a one-goal victory. Majors hoping for a different result this time around. Both teams playing very well. The Battalion, 3-2-0, and and they've won two straight. The Majors now 2-3-0, and and they won their first road game in Kitchener Friday night and are playing much better after an 0-3 start. Should be a dandy this afternoon as the battalion take on the majors. With their thoughts on the game and a look at our spotlight players, let's go upstairs to our play-by-play -play team, Dan Dunleavy and Sam Cosentino. Full tending matchup for this afternoon's game. Kevin Couture and Justin Peters getting the call. Kevin Couture from Oakville, Ontario. He, uh, of course, we saw him last time Brampton was here in Toronto. And we miss Brad Topping, who had a huge night against the Sting on Friday night. The uh, Stan Butler, what he's been doing, has been switching his goaltenders back and forth, alternating them. And, of course, you see Blythe Ontario's Justin Peters there as well. He gets the call after having a great night last night for the Toronto St. Mike's Majors. Roger, thank you. And we are all set for another meeting between these two GTA rivals. And it seems just like yesterday that we stood in this very same location. There we have a look at the men who will be in charge of keeping things under control. Mr. Seasbuck will be the linesman here this afternoon. Mike Pierce, veteran referee here in the Ontario Hockey League, number 25 in the jerseys. A bit of a change for the uh, this year as uh, following up what the NHL does, the linesmen have removed the names off the jerseys and will just go with the numbers this season. McPherson and Seymour. And Howie Martin, the newcomer, starting off for the Brampton Battalion. We are underway here at St. Mike's. Skates. Kept in. Clutterbuck shoots it deep. Clutterbuck, who has seen some ice time on the number one line. Big hit on the right boards. Clutterbuck is banging in there with Kreps now. And the Battalion come back. That was McPherson who lost the lumber. He's got some new hardware now as Frazier brings it in. Around McKeever, drives the blue ice. Loose puck. Still loose. Now it's behind the net. Miracle. Chases it down, he's got one in front of him, decides to just get rid of that puck and not in front of him. Puck doesn't get that deep though. Brought the other way by Peralta. In over the line, tries to leg it through the legs of Eric Schwanz, gets the shot away. Behind the net, wraparound, second chance, they miss it. Saved by Couture again, are you kidding? Oh, we're still scoreless thanks to Kevin Couture stoning the St. Mike's Majors. Wow. So far it's early in this game, but Ryan Wilson is Playing a solid game back for St. Mike's. Look out, Seymour and Schwanz almost collide. Back to the point, Tim Brent. That's a tough puck to handle. And Volsky bearing down on him. Number 17 comes up with it. Kreps is trailing. Kreps in the slot alone. Can't get the shot away. What an effort by Wojtek Volsky. Wilson has to keep an eye on Howie Martin. Big hit. Peshek again at his head down. But Thomas Waugh has the puck. Coming in, he's tripped up from behind. No call. Simmons moves the puck to the boards. Peshek throws it in front. Waugh's there waiting for it. Doesn't get that far. McPherson, he takes a bug from Peshek. They're centered in front. They score! Thomas Waugh, one-timer in the blue ice. It's 1-0 Toronto here in the first. The Majors are at home wearing their blue jerseys, and that was a blue-collar goal. Great work in the corner by Cameron. Waugh hovering around the net. He gets rewarded. Watch as this puck goes into the corner. Cameron administers the hit. That frees the puck. Quick pass out front from Peshek to Thomas Waugh. Waugh bangs it home, picks up his second goal of the year. An outstanding job by the Majors' fourth line and a hard-working goal. You see Peshek helping him. Helping Cameron in there to free the puck and a laser pass out in front of the net. Thomas Waugh had his stick down like you're supposed to if you're a goal scorer. Picks up his second of the year. Henrik giving chase. Lehman's going to have a collision waiting for him. Look out. He knocks the big man to the ice. Draws that puck back and now in over the line. Faking the shot. Petkoff still holding it. Throws it in front. Loose puck. Still in the skates of Lehman. Lehman tries to walk out with it. He's picked in front. Saved by Peters. That time is stepping into it. Heikert in the low slot. And the battalion starting to put the pressure on. And now the linesman's got to be careful. He doesn't get one in the back of the head as Heikert 
Reaches over the strike sweater to try to take an extra shot at Connor Cameron. Puck is dumped in. Ulihan watched by Miracle. Henrik, backhand behind the net. Tries to walk out front. Bouncing puck. Italian come up with it. Power plays over. Petkoff takes the shot. Bouncing puck. Shoots the score. Adam Henrik sneaks it through the five hole and tie it up at one. That is not a power play goal as McKeever was out of the box. Well, this is a result, again, of the puck being thrown on net. Petkoff gets it back at the point, throws it on net. Peters unable to control the rebound, while big Adam Henrik, although he's being covered, big enough, to, strong enough to get his stick down on the ice, spin around, knock it through the five hole. You see the puck go back to Petkoff at the point. The shot makes its way through, while Peters, with the bouncing puck, can't cover it up. Henrik there, hangs it through the five hole. So Adam Henrik, who had 64 points and 31 goals a year ago, picks up his second goal of the season, and that ties this game at one. Through center ice, Oreskovic back after, being watched by Waugh. Under three minutes remaining in the second period. We're now tied at one in this GTA rivalry. Look out, Seymour! Running into Frazier. And he got the stick up. And now the player's pushing and shoving. Here's a look at the collision. Full speed ahead, open ice, gets the shoulder up. Very clean hit. Jamie Fraser, and you talked about it earlier in the game, Dan. A lot of these guys with their head down. Now Couture knocks it down. Ten seconds remaining. Tim Brent gives Schwanz an extra shot. Now Rohrbeck comes in, forgets the puck. Up at center ice with one second to go. Look out, here we go. Schwanz and Tim Brent give each other a shot. And then Schwanz nails Brent. Brent sticks Schwanz. He might get called for a spear on that if the referee saw it at all. But... Tim Brent and Schwanz were going at it. They gave each other a couple of knocks, and Tim Brent will be lucky if he gets away with. He gave a spear into Eric Schwanz with that lumber it as he was being tied up by Rohrbeck. Brent just uh, tried to make a play to clear the puck, but by doing so, he stopped right in the middle of the ice while Schwanz kept going towards him, finishing off his check like you're supposed to. When Brent went to the ice, a little ticked off at Schwanz, figuring it was late in the period for that sort of activity. And Volsky behind the net. Backhand up for Fraser, one-timer. Wide short side, rebound comes off the end boards in a hurry again. Peter scrambling to get back to his feet. Now McPherson looks back to the point, elects to keep the puck down low. Volsky. Lehman's got the one arm around him. They continue on. Volsky walks out in front and scores to make a 2-1 Crampton. You talk about a blue-collar goal. Sam, that was nothing but work, work, work for the battalion. Well, he's made an impression all game long. Wojtek Volsky gets his second goal of the season, and again, as a result of high, hard work. He fights off the check from Lehman, and he'll emerge from the side of the net with the wraparound opportunity. Lehman was still on him, but Volsky just really kept after it. Look at this work. He's being battled by Lehman, keeps his eye on the puck. Nice move to get around a couple of players there. Then comes out in front of the net. The wraparound, Peter's a little late getting post to post, and Wojtek Volsky gives the battalion a two to one lead that play. As a result, Majors forgot he was over there. He was uncovered. Now McKeever steps in, takes the shot. Nice glove save by Couture to shut the door to keep it 2-1 Brampton. That play was set up by Craig Foster. Very composed with the puck. He gets across the line, fights off an opposition check, then dumps it out for McKeever there. And a good shot by McKeever. Kevin Couture equally as well as he started drifting towards the middle of that net, maybe expecting a pass. Instead, McKeever elected to take the shot and Couture came up with the big glove save. Doesn't get the puck deep enough though, and Kamel Kreps behind Lehman takes the pass. Kamel Kreps tries to wrap around. Nice save by Peters. Boy, did he get over there in a hurry, and he had to. Back upstairs. Shot from the point, Miracles blast. Rebound in front, McCaffrey trying to walk through with it. Well, the battalion bring it back. Adam Henrik on the left side, working on Miracle. Henrik with that big reach, gets around and shoots and scores! 3-1 Brampton, Adam Henrik. Putting the battalion on those big shoulders of his. And he's given the team a 3-1 lead with 4.58 remaining in the third. Well, you go to the net hard, you get resulted in good things. Justin Peters is a, just unbelievably upset. And he's throwing the blockers now. Definitely a lot of penalties will arise from this fracas. But Peters was upset from the onset that that goal was scored. He's really showing his frustration right now. Well, he's going after. Here we go. The goaltenders are going. Let's look at center ice. Peters is coming the length, looking for Couture. Says, do you want to take the mask off? 
Couture says, I'm not dropping it. Here we go. The goaltenders now. Adam Hendricks shoving the linesman trying to get back into the thing. Adam Hendricks got to get in the box, and he runs into the box because he knows he'll get into trouble if he's out there any further. Mayhem is broken loose here at the St. Michael's College School Arena. Justin Peters and Kevin Couture going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Peters has had enough after Hendrick ran into him, scoring the third goal of the game for the battalion. I think Couture is laughing at this whole thing. He's smiling. He is through the entire fight. Now the linesmen come down, and Clayton and Hendrick in the box. Talking with Wilson. Couture leaking from just over the eye. He will have to head off the ice and get some medical treatment for that. But Justin Peters had had enough. He started throwing some blockers into the corner and said, you know what, this isn't really fair. It's a two-on-one situation. He called down to the other end of the ice where Couture was waiting patiently in his crease. They said, let's go. They discussed if they wanted to pull each other's masks off first. That didn't happen. But as soon as they got together, the mask shirt came off. And it all broke loose from there. Adam Henrik, though, let's not forget, perhaps putting this game away for the Brampton Battalion, and he's all smiles in the box now. Big number nine with his second goal of the game, his third of the season. It's 3-1. Brampton leading. Now, they haven't put the goal up on the board, though. I'll say this for whatever reason. Let's have another look at the goal that, as far as we know, should count. Here it is. Adam Hendrick with speed on the outside. He gets around Miracle. See, what happens, Miracle really needs to turn around and start, start skating forward with him and push him into the corner. But Miracle wasn't quick enough getting turned around. And what happened was, Hendrick recognized that and just bowled his way towards the net, knowing that he could beat him, that he had a step on him. And he continued into the goaltender, Peters, after Miracle gave him a shove. And then you see Peters hop in there, got upset at Henrik, Miracle's down with him, then it goes into the corner, and you'll see Wilson start to push his man that way. Peter says, hey, wait a second, starts throwing the blockers at him. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, man. That's why Michael loses is already on the ice, skating around, getting warmed up. I mean, that was insane. That reminded me of maybe a, a Flyers-Leafs game from back in the 70s. There's Brad Topping as well. Stretching it out. Brad Topping, London native. And Michael Uzis from Hamilton, Ontario. There you get a look at Michael. You see him still wearing those Barry Colts pads acquired uh, earlier this season in the trade with the Colts. Maybe he's expecting to be dealt back there sometime soon. Or... <laughs> Brampton now being a little sloppy in their own zone. Seymour with Foster to the net. Backhand saved by Topping. Played Friday night against Sarnia, making 38 uh, saves, I believe it was, in a 2 1 win for the battalion. So, probably a little tired. And here we go. Again. Fun stuff. Here we go. It's McPherson, and it looked like I saw a number eight go down there. I don't know if it was 18, 28, or 8. We'll get a look as soon as the helmet's off. That would be Foster, 18. Yeah, I think it's safe to say, Dan, there's no love lost between these two clubs. I mean, it was just a, a matter of time. The way Seymour was running around here in this third period. on good header out for the majors. And they just throw that puck away. Kreps looks back towards Simmons. Backhand pass. The defenseman just taps it off the glass. Knocked down by Miracle. Seven seconds to go. Center ice. Olahan throws it in the corner. And that will do it. Two seconds to go. One second. The Brampton Battalion come into St. Mike's on the OHL game of the week and take two road points home to the bunker. And Stan Butler has to be happy with this game. A gritty performance by his team. And there you see it. Brampton 3-1 over St. Mike's. The Majors winning streak is stopped at two. We'll be back to wrap it up in a moment. From St. Michael's College School Arena in Toronto, this is Rogers OHL Primetime. Well, we told you they were GTA rivals, and we weren't kidding. The Brampton Battalion defeat the Toronto St. Michael's Majors 3-1, to but perhaps the bigger story, the fights in that third period, including the two goaltenders going at it, 
Great rivalry between these two teams, and obviously the blood was boiling this afternoon. But first things first, let's give credit to the Brampton Battalion. Nice road effort. They came up with a 3-1 to one victory over the Toronto St. Michael's Majors, and they are definitely full value for this victory. The Majors, after beating Kitchener Friday night, continue to have trouble scoring goals. They only have 11 goals scored in six games, and that's one of the reasons they're 2-4, and four, and the Battalion are 4-2. and two to start the season. Well, let's take a look at the three stars from this Battalion Majors game this afternoon. Star number one, Adam Henrik, and he had a terrific game. Two goals for the Battalion, and in a 3-1 game, enough said there. Star number two, how about the performance of Kevin Couture, who stopped 32 saves before he left after fighting Justin Peters. Kevin Couture, star number two. And star number three, Michael Peshek had the Majors a lone goal and a solid two-way effort as well for him. So the Majors rookies performing well, but the Majors need to find some more offense. Uh, if they're going to move up in the standings. So the battalion now 4-2-0, the majors 2-4-0. Dan Brenner was our director this afternoon. Don Jackson is a producer of Majors Hockey here in Toronto on OHL Primetime. I'm Roger Lejoie. For Dan Dunleavy, Sam Cosentino, Lisa Dunlop, and all of our crew, thanks very much for watching and being with us this afternoon. Once again, your final score, the Brampton Battalion 3, the Toronto St. Michael's Majors 1. We'll talk to you soon on OHL Primetime. For now, good afternoon from St. Mike's.